You guys, this is probably one of the most incredible scrub pythons I've ever seen. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are in Malaysia and we are doing an Indonesia unboxing here. We've never done this before. I've never seen anybody else really do this before, but there's some special animals in here. Some are for Malaysia retail market. Some are for ourselves. Some are for re-export to the US. You guys are gonna see what we see. We're gonna dig into it and give you guys a look. Let's get it. Okay, you guys, in no particular order, we're gonna get right into it with these two large scrub pythons. I saw these go up for sale and I jumped right on it, or I actually, I had my supplier jump right on it. I have not seen these snakes yet with my own eyes, but in the photos, they were really something special. You guys, this is probably one of the most incredible scrub pythons I've ever seen. I don't know if I'm going to shed blood or not, but this is insane. Wow, you guys, that is incredible. This is a Highland scrub. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna assume that this is a boy because the head is so big, but that color is insane, absolutely insane. My gosh. Hands down the best scrub python I've seen. And it actually has a pretty good demeanor. But I'm, I'm risking a little bit because that is a big snake with a massive head. Wow. Okay, you guys, the second one coming out here. It's been so long since I started this deal that I can't even remember which one is which, to be honest with you. I don't know if this is darker, lighter. Okay, this is gonna be probably same locality. Another Highland. It's got a little bit of a healed scar on the head, but it's, it's definitely in the healing process. That's insane. That is so awesome. Look at the gold on the side, you guys. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now I would have said that this is the coolest scrub I've ever seen, but I opened that bag first. <laughs> so I don't know, but this is, this is the second coolest scrub I've ever seen. That is amazing. Wow. Ooh, unreal. Okay. Do you guys think we're off to a good start? Put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think because I am blown away. This one looks like it needs to shed, but it also looks very, very much like the last one. This animal to me looks like it will probably look just like that big one when it gets full size. We just have, have to hope for a, a nice clean shed. But to be honest with you, this is way more rare than Clastolepis. So I'm actually pretty happy with this.
That's cool. So exactly how I had hoped you guys, that small scrub python did shed during the night. It had a perfect shed showing tons of gold. It is absolutely amazing. I did sex all three animals just exactly as I suspected. The largest gold one is a male. The other two are females. So it ended up being a perfect trio. Now a little bit of the locality background on these animals, they're from Bintang Regency. So this is a mountainous Regency and it's on the border of PNG. Now it's deemed a conflict red zone by the Indonesian government and that basically means it's a very dangerous place to go. There's civil unrest, there's many allegations of human rights violations by the military, there have been airstrikes and the list goes on and on. You can do a deep dive yourselves on the internet and you can see at least the pieces that haven't been censored, but it's, um, it's a pretty wild place. So I've said this before, learn and value the animals that you have. They're not just for likes on Facebook and they don't just magically appear on Morph Market. Every rare one has a story behind it. So put a little value on your animals, you guys. We're very lucky to have some of these things in our hobby. Okay. Moving on. Very, very nice. That is a very, very strange looking Clastolepis. I don't think I've ever seen one with this, uh, with these gray markings on it. It's very strange. Very nice. Wow. Very unique. Very nice animal. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, last of the scrubs. Let's see what we have here. Okay, this is Clastolepis. Cool, almost patternless. Xanthic patternless. Almost, but definitely Xanthic. All right, nice. Now we're gonna step away from the scrubs. These are Apodora. Oh my gosh, and they are amazing. My gosh, that's incredible. Apodora. Papuan olive python. This is just a little bit bigger than baby size, but the color and just for how clean it is at this young size, this is amazing. I like how the heads are lighter and they just pop. This is a monotypic genus, so there's no other species in this genus, Apodora. And you can see that they have some traits from other python species, in other genus, but they also are very unique among themselves. Super strong, one of the longest snakes in Papua. These guys can reach upwards of 14 feet. They get really, really heavy and they're super strong. And they are known to eat other snakes, which is kind of 
somewhat unique among python species but that is so cool my gosh look at the little bull head amazing i should have one more similar size i can feel from the bag and here is another one a little bit older and you can see it just looks different when these guys become adult they just get that dark kind of olive green color to them and they do fade light and dark throughout the day and night they fire up and fire down that one that came out of the bag i don't know if it's uh previous to this i don't know if it always looks like that or not it probably doesn't it probably gets dark as well so this one coming out of the bag is just sort of more typical dark and that other one coming out of the bag is lighter but the other one previous to this was younger so this one is just slightly bigger but what an amazing size okay you guys this is the first of the venomous this is tropidolamus latisinctus that is incredible And I would say that that is looking pretty cool in the new terrariums that we have. Nice. Okay, we got a bunch more. Only got one of these. We will get a, another to match this one. This is a female. Very nice. Now we're going to continue on. We have some venomous and also some non-venomous. These are blue insularis. You can sure tell that these snakes have been eating because they pooped in transit. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, you shed in transit. That's why. Okay, so those were blue insularis. This is a yellow insularis. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. That is very, very nice. That's 
That's cool. I'm digging it. And we have some baby Pataeus carinata and some very small Pataeus carinata juveniles as well. To me, it looks pretty fresh. So I like it that way because we can start them kind of the way we want to start them. But very, very, very cool. So here's another one, kind of an interesting color, different than the green that I'm normally accustomed to. I don't know if this might be a melanistic baby or not. I'm looking at the belly color and it's kind of dark. I, I'm going to say that this is probably a, going to be one of the dark animals. Not 100% sure, but this is a weird color to me, so almost bluish. But it's very dark. So if I if I was a Batman, I would say that this is gonna be a melanistic adult. Uh, this one is really nice and contrasty. The green is not going to stay, unfortunately. Hey buddy, chill out. But these are super cute. Oh wow, you are really feisty, aren't you? So anyway, this is the last animal of today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. That is really different, especially for YouTube, is doing an Indonesia unboxing in Malaysia. DM Exotics, always trying to do something different, trying to be innovative, and always bringing you guys the crazy stuff. So anyway, we're proud of what we're up to. We're proud of what we're doing. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Take care.